Hello, in today's tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to set up AeroBody, a device we've created to measure your body position in real time for correlation to your drag and as a reminder to stay aero. AeroBody has two laser sensors on it, one at the front, one at the back. The one at the front is to measure your head position, the one at the back to measure your chest. What I'm going to do is put it on a standard Garmin quarter turn mount. One will come with the device in the box. I've attached the stem here and it's as simple as quarter turn and it's on. Next thing to do is get it set up on your Garmin bike computer. There are two ways to do this. We can either use the AeroSensor ACS app or the AeroBody data fields. I'm going to start off by showing you how to get it set up in the ACS app. The ACS app can be downloaded from the Connect IQ store onto your Garmin. Once you've got it downloaded, we can just open it by going into the IQ menu on my Garmin here, AeroSensor ACS. It's going to ask me if my power meter is calibrated. I don't care about that for now because I'm just getting set up. Again, with the type of testing. And you'll see in the middle here, there are two a head and a chest position. I'm going to turn my AeroBody on using the power button. You'll see that it's on because the blue light will be flashing and straight away you'll see that I've got some values here. So that's all working. When you first load the ACS app, it should automatically find your error body. If not, don't worry. We can go into the menu here, onto um, connections, error body, and it will sit there and look for any error bodies that it can find and then you can select the one you want to connect to. Note that I'm showing this on a Garmin 830. Um, on different Garmins, you might have up and down buttons instead of touchscreen, but the functioning of the, of the app is the same. Right, so I'm going to get out of that. Once that's connected, the next thing to do is get your position on the bike setup. I've got my bike here on a turbo trainer, so it's going to hold position for me so I can get on here. And the first thing I'm going to do is get into my riding position and make sure that the sensor is looking at the right parts of my body. So the front position should be looking at my head so I can rotate it so that it looks like this sensor is pointing roughly at my chin here. And you'll see that's reading about 2.5 at the moment. So that's 2.5 centimeters. If I just put two fingers here and move them down and up, I can see that the display is responding to where my fingers are. And that means that this top sensor is pointing where I want it to point. This rear position will be pointing at my chest somewhere down here. Exactly where it points isn't important because I'm just going to be looking for relative changes in my position. So once that's in the right spot, I can get a two mil hex driver and I'm just going to tighten this up so that it's not going to go anywhere. So that as I'm riding, this is nice and stable. As well as displaying and recording to the fit file your body position, Aerobody is also going to remind you if you're in your target position or not. Your target position should be the one you're most comfortable in, um, that is aerodynamic, that's going to give you your best performance. <clears throat> and really for aerodynamic testing, or even for training, you want to train yourself to hold that constant position so that you're always aero, that you're staying aero. So we need to tell the app what that position is. And I'm going to do that by going into the menu here, then Aerobody settings, set reference and then in, in a second I'm going to click on the measure button it'll give me five seconds to get into position and then take an average over two seconds so I'll click on that get into position on my bike hold the constant position and then once I've done that I can click save this is just going to save it to the app it doesn't save it to the sensor itself close that, go back, and now, if I go back into that position on the bike, it should, when I'm in position, it's gonna show white. Now the idea is that if I go below my target position, it's gonna go blue. If I go above my target position, it's gonna go red, as a warning that I need to get back into my aerodynamic position. Now, it's only gonna stay white around a certain tolerance of my target, and that's what we call a null zone. That can be set in here. If I go 
everybody settings set null zone i can use these buttons here to change my null zone to a different value so at the moment it's plus and minus two and a half centimeters so it's going to stay white if i'm at two and a half centimeters high or two and a half centimeters low i might say well that's not very good i can do a bit better than that i'm going to reduce that to um 1.5 save that come out of here and now if you see that if I'm in my position if I go so my head's at 0 0.8 1.3 oh and so as soon as it goes above 1.5 centimeters now it's going to go red that's a bit harder to control control to be honest so you'll need to do a bit of playing around to see what you're comfortable with what you're able to hold because you don't want it always to be red because we'll just start ignoring it Okay, so that's how we set it up on the ACS app. So on my bike computer, I've already got my AeroBody data field downloaded from Connect IQ store. And what I'm what that's going to allow me to do is put that date that AeroBody data wherever I would like in my usual Garmin page layouts. So whereas the ACS app completely takes over your Garmin and you've got little choice over where that data appears, you can stick this wherever you want. For visibility, I've just got a simple page here with two um, with two data fields on it, and I'm going to replace speed with my AeroBody data. So before this won't work when you're recording. Before you start recording, hold down on speed here, click it again, and then scroll down, and I'm going to see Connect IQ at the bottom here. Click on that, select everybody, and now you'll see that I've got my head and chest position up there on the device. However, it's not showing me any data yet because it's not connected to my everybody. So the next thing we need to do is get it set up. And we can do that either using Garmin Express on a computer or the Garmin Connect IQ app on my phone. I'll show you here how to do it on the phone. So firstly, on my phone here, I'm gonna open up the Garmin Connect IQ app, go to my device, and it's going to take a couple of seconds just to connect to my Edge 830. Um, so just waiting for that there. And then I can click on my data fields, and you'll see I've got my AeroBody data field on here. Open that up there, and then you'll see there's this settings button. And what we've done is we've defined a few settings that you can change from the phone, and that's going to um, send those across to the data field on the Garmin. So I'll click on settings. Take a second to load. The first thing I need to do is reset pairs device. So I'm going to click, click on that switch there. And you should see that when I click, click on save, the Garmin's going to show that it's reconnecting. So it's going to search for my error body and it should find, yeah, there we go. It's popped up there. So that's appeared. The next thing we need to do, as we did with the ACS app, is tell it what my target position is. And again, I'm going to do this from the settings page. Um, I'm going to go to set datum, click that to on, and then save. And it's again going to give me five seconds to get in position. Hold that position for two seconds. Are we there? Yeah, we're there. So it's showing zero because I'm still in position. If I lift up, it's going to go red. If I go down, it's going to go blue. So it's as simple as that. Once you've got that set up, your target position is going to be saved on your Garmin. So you don't need to reset it up every time you ride. But if you do move the aero body or you um, go to a different bike, you're going to need to go through that process again. So that's it. Once it's on there, your fit file will now contain your head and chest data, which is going to be visible on the um, Garmin Connect website when you look at your data from your ride. That's it for the AeroBody setup. If you've got any questions, as always, email us at support at aerosensor.tech. Um, with any questions, we aim to get back to you within 24 hours. We're here to help. We know aero testing is um, a tricky one, so do get in touch with us. Thank you for watching.